Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed viewers, today I have the privilege of sharing with you the extraordinary life and biography of Anna Haining Bates. Her story is one of remarkable physical stature and even greater personal strength. Despite the challenges posed by her unusual height, Anna's life was marked by resilience, love, and a steadfast spirit that left a lasting impression on all who knew her. Join me as we delve into the remarkable journey of Anna Haining Bates. Anna Haining Bates was born Anna Haining Swan on August 6, 1846, in the small village of Millbrook, New Annan, in Nova Scotia, Canada. From the moment she was born, Anna stood out. Her parents, Alexander Swan and Anne Graham, were of average height, and they were unprepared for the exceptional growth that their daughter would experience. By the age of five, Anna was already four feet six inches tall, and by her teenage years, she had grown to an astonishing height of over seven feet. Growing up, Anna faced many challenges due to her size. She was exceptionally intelligent and showed a keen interest in learning, but traditional schooling environments were ill-suited to accommodate her physical stature. Despite these difficulties, Anna's parents were supportive and ensured she received an education at home. Her remarkable height was often a source of curiosity and amazement in her community, and she soon became known as a local wonder. At the age of 17, Anna was discovered by a promoter named P.T. Barnum, who recognized the potential of her extraordinary height as a star attraction. Barnum invited Anna to join his American Museum in New York City, where she became part of his renowned collection of human curiosities. Anna agreed, seeing this as an opportunity to explore the world beyond her small village and to provide financial support for her family. In 1865, Anna moved to New York and began her career with Barnum. Standing at 7 feet 11 inches tall, she was a sensation. Audiences marveled at her height, but they were equally charmed by her grace, intelligence, and warm personality. Anna quickly became one of Barnum's most popular attractions, drawing large crowds wherever she went. Despite the public fascination with her size, Anna remained grounded and dignified, treating her role as both a responsibility and an opportunity. While working with Barnum, Anna met Martin Van Buren Bates, another giant performer who was touring with a different show. Martin, originally from Kentucky, stood 7 feet 9 inches tall and was known as the Kentucky Giant. The two were drawn to each other by their shared experiences and mutual understanding of the challenges of living as giants. They fell in love and were married on June 17, 1871, in a ceremony attended by thousands of spectators. Their wedding was a grand event, and the couple was often referred to as the world's tallest married couple. After their marriage, Anna and Martin continued to tour together, captivating audiences across the United States and Europe. They traveled extensively, meeting royalty and dignitaries, including Queen Victoria, who presented Anna with a custom-made diamond ring. Despite their fame, Anna and Martin longed for a quieter life and eventually retired from show business. In 1872, Anna and Martin settled on a farm in Seville, Ohio, where they hoped to live a peaceful life away from the public eye. They built a house designed to accommodate their extraordinary heights, with high ceilings and oversized furniture. The couple was well respected in their community, known for their generosity and kindness. Tragically, Anna and Martin faced profound personal losses. They had two children, both of whom died shortly after birth. Their first child, a daughter, was stillborn in 1872. Their second child, a son who weighed 23 pounds at birth, lived only a few hours. These losses were devastating for Anna, who had always dreamed of having a family. Despite their grief, Anna and Martin remained devoted to each other and found solace in their love and companionship, Anna's later years were marked by her involvement in her community and her continued efforts to live a fulfilling life. She and Martin focused on their farm and engaged in various charitable activities. Anna was known for her quilting and needlework, and she often made clothing for local children and contributed to community events. On August 5, 1888, Anna Haining Bates passed away just one day before her 42nd birthday. The cause of her death was heart failure, a condition likely exacerbated by her immense size. Her death was mourned by many, both in her local community and among those who had admired her from afar. Martin Bates lived on their farm for several more years, but he never remarried, and he always spoke fondly of his beloved Anna. Anna Haining Bates's life was one of extraordinary circumstances and remarkable resilience. She faced the unique challenges of living as one of the tallest women in recorded history with grace and dignity. Her intelligence, warmth, and kindness left a lasting impression on those who knew her and those who learned about her through her public appearances. 
her story is a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the power of love and perseverance. Despite the physical and emotional hardships she faced, Anna lived a life full of purpose and connection. She turned the curiosity and sometimes exploitation of her size into opportunities to educate and inspire others, and she found love and partnership with someone who understood and shared her experiences. Anna Haining Bates's legacy is not only preserved in the stories and memories of those who knew her but also through the tangible remnants of her life. Her home in Seville, Ohio, which she shared with Martin, remains a historical site, and the community continues to honor her memory. The house, specially built to accommodate the couple's extraordinary heights, stands as a testament to their unique lives and the love they shared, Anna's impact on her community was profound. Even after her passing, the people of Seville remembered her generosity and her willingness to engage in local affairs. She was known for her charitable nature, often donating her time and resources to those in need. Her skills in quilting and needlework were not just hobbies but acts of kindness, as she often created clothing and blankets for local children and families. Her relationship with Martin Van Buren Bates was a central aspect of her life, showcasing a deep bond that transcended their public personas. Together, they navigated the complexities of life in the public eye and the personal heartaches of losing their children. Their love story was one of mutual respect, support, and understanding. Martin continued to honor Anna's memory long after her death, ensuring that her legacy would not be forgotten. In the broader context of history, Anna Haining Bates stands as a symbol of overcoming adversity. Her life challenges societal norms and perceptions about physical appearance and capabilities. In an era when being different often led to marginalization, Anna embraced her uniqueness and turned it into a source of strength. Her intelligence and grace allowed her to navigate a world that was not always kind to those who stood out. Anna's story also highlights the human fascination with physical anomalies and the ethical considerations of showcasing such individuals in public spectacles. While she found a way to make a living and support her family through her association with P.T. Barnum, her life prompts reflection on the treatment and portrayal of individuals with unique physical characteristics. Anna managed to maintain her dignity and humanity in a context that often reduced people to mere curiosities. Moreover, Anna's life story is a source of inspiration for those facing their own unique challenges. Her ability to find love, purpose, and joy despite the obstacles she encountered is a powerful reminder that our circumstances do not define us. Her resilience and positivity encourage us to look beyond our limitations and focus on our strengths. Today, Anna Haining Bates is remembered not just as a giant in stature but as a giant in spirit. Her life continues to inspire and teach valuable lessons about perseverance, kindness, and the power of the human spirit. She remains a beloved figure in Seville, Ohio, where her legacy is celebrated through historical markers and local lore, for those who wish to learn more about Anna. Her story is preserved in various historical records and personal accounts. Biographies and articles have been written to ensure that her contributions and experiences are not forgotten. These resources provide a deeper understanding of her life and the times in which she lived, offering insight into the remarkable woman behind the legend. In conclusion, Anna Haining Bates's life is a remarkable story of resilience, love, and the triumph of the human spirit. She navigated the challenges of her extraordinary height with grace and dignity, leaving behind a legacy of kindness and inspiration. Her story reminds us that true greatness is found not in our physical attributes but in our character and the impact we have on those around us. Thank you for joining me in celebrating the life of Anna Haining Bates. Her journey from a small village in Nova Scotia to international fame, and finally to a peaceful life in Ohio, is a testament to her incredible spirit. May her story continue to inspire and remind us of the power of embracing our unique qualities and the strength that lies within us all.